Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantel and welcome back to my channel, Socially Shawnee. If you're new here, welcome. I hope that you like today's video and a few of my others. And if you're not new, welcome back. I really appreciate you being here. Today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about... Today we're going to be talking about a recipe binder. This beauty has saved my life. Do you ever get that feeling where it's like four, five, six in the afternoon, you've got a hungry family or household to feed and you're trying to look at the fridge and you're trying to look at the pantry and you're trying to figure out what's for dinner. <sighs> How do you cook for your family or household regularly, simple and affordably? The answer is a recipe binder. I've had recipes in here since 2011 when I was doing food technology back in high school. They have lasted the test of time. I'm going to go through my recipe binder of of what's inside, how to use it, how to create one, why I use it, all those sort of things. And I hope that you enjoy this video. If you're liking this video so far, please hit the thumbs up button so I know to make more videos like this because I'd love to. If you're new here and if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you part of the little community here. And if you have your own recipe binder or notebook or anything like that, leave a comment down below because I'd love to hear what you guys do as well. Why do I have this binder? There is nothing worse than finding a really good, fantastic, amazing recipe that your family and household love and you don't know where it's from, you can't remember which website, you don't know the name of it, you don't remember what's in it and everyone's hungry and it's just not a good time. That's where this comes in. If it's late in the afternoon and people are hungry and you don't know what to cook for dinner, I tend to go on the internet or Pinterest or things like that and I just end up scrolling for quite some time. I'm scrolling and I'm not finding anything. <laughs> I find really good stuff that I want to cook and I'm like, ooh. But I find that I don't have the ingredients or it takes four and a half hours. No, I'm too busy for that. This doesn't only just serve the purpose of inspiration of like what to cook and everything in one place. It also serves the purpose of being able to plan your meals ahead. That way you can continue to feed your family or household affordably and regularly and have constant meals that you can try or look in advance to cook and plan ahead. I love creating a meal plan. I am 25, I am a full-time uni student, I work part-time and I love food. Having a meal plan is going to stop me from eating out. Whether it's we cook extra dinners for lunch and we can have that as leftovers through the week or if it's just simply being excited for what's for dinner. So the main reasons that I have a recipe binder is for convenience. All of my inspiration and tried and true recipes are there in one spot and it also serves as affordability that way when you're doing the shopping you can plan ahead what you're going to do with it as well what's in the binder. In this binder, I have an amalgamation of recipes. These recipes include things that I've printed out from the internet, recipes that have been sent to me by friends. I have recipes in here that I still have from year 11 in food tech. I have recipes that I have ripped out of magazines. The biggest chunk of recipes that I have in my binder are from cookbooks. I have a handful of cookbooks. I find that it's easiest to take 10 minutes out of your day, grab some cute little sticky notes and go through your cookbook. A, you're gonna be very hungry, so have a snack. B, you're gonna Gonna get a lot of inspiration. Go through the cookbook, flag the pages that you want to try or you have tried and you really liked it. That way you can scan or photocopy the page and print it out and put it in the binder. How to create your own binder. This was very cheap. I bought this binder on sale at Officeworks for I think like two or three dollars. You aren't going to need much to create this. On the inside, dividers. Dividers are going to be your best friend. I bought 10 dividers for like two dollars and the reason that I bought so many dividers is so you can fully categorize everything that's going to work best for you. I used to organize my binder of breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, snacks, smoothies. <laughs> No, 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 no. If you're still organizing your binder that way, have I got a system for you? But we'll get to that. You're also going to need plastic sleeves. That way, when you're cooking in a kitchen with food, mess, and everything like that, then you're not gonna get your beautiful recipes ruined. I am a stationary geek. I always buy the high, glossy, extra thick, extra heavy duty um, plastic sleeves because that's who I am as a person. I've come to terms with it, it's okay. The only other thing that I have done is I have labeled the dividers. So that's all you need. You need a folder, dividers, plastic sleeves, and you don't have to label like actual like label maker, label your dividers. You can handwrite them. Easy, simple.
how to organize your folder. I have stopped doing the breakfast, lunch, dinner, and for good reason. I found it didn't work. It was great for that time of day, and I'm like, ooh, breakfast, okay, pancakes. Oh, dinner, okay, there's like a lot of options in here. No, better system. I have organized mine into 10 different categories. They are categorized by protein, mostly. So I've got chicken, Italian slash pasta, beef slash seafood, because that way, whether you're meal planning or if it's like last minute and you're trying to find something for dinner right now and you're looking in the fridge and you've got like two chicken breasts bingo bango you're done you can just go straight to the chicken section and be like oh wow all of these recipes on chicken that i've already tried tested loved and things i want to try what i know because that way you're not trying to go through the lunch section or the dinner section to try and find an odd chicken recipe between all the beef or the pork and lamb and seafood recipes and pasta recipes. No, your chicken recipes are in one place. It helps with meal planning. If you look in the freezer and you've got like a kilo of beef mince. Oh, well that's easy. We can put that into one or two meals. What have we got on beef? Simple. Should I show you inside my folder? Yeah. This is my recipe binder. I have appetizers and sides, Italian slash pasta, chicken, beef slash seafood, gotta have desserts, bread slash baking, breakfast, slow cooked, marinades, and vegetarian slash vegan. These are all out of cookbooks. These are all photocopied. These are from the internet. This is from a magazine. This is from year 11 food tech. That's essentially all there is to it. If you find a recipe and you like it, print it out, put it in a plastic sleeve and put it in the correct part of the folder. Two biggest tips are to use plastic sleeves. You can hole punch it if you like, but it might get messy. Just a warning, I know from experience. Tip number two is to write notes on all of your recipes. Whether you added extra garlic, whether you cooked it for longer, write notes because the next time you go back to it and you cook it, there, it's done. It's already done for you and you don't have to worry about it. Anyway, that's kind of it. I really hope that you enjoyed this kind of video. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know by leaving a comment and a big thumbs up on this video. If you stayed this long, please hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to get notified as I make more videos and probably some moving videos soon. And also uni's coming back in about two weeks as well, so I'll be making more uni videos as well. Please hit the subscribe button and also the little bell so you get notified every time I make a new video. My Instagram handle is at sociallyshawnee. Go over there and follow me and if you create your own recipe binder, please take a picture and tag me. I would love to see what you guys have. I'd love to see what you guys create and how you do it or even if you have your own system, take a picture and tag me. I'd love to see it. All right, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.